Hi everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to the excavation of Hobbs Barrow. We're trying to find some elderflower and we thought we had it last time, but it turns out it was actually cowbane, so that's the thing. So we're back on the track of elderflower again. I don't really know where we're going to get it to be honest, but we know that it has white flowers, so we're just going to look around until we can uh, find some, I guess. Um, yeah, not really sure where we're going to get it. <laughs> To be honest, have we spoken to any of these people? Perhaps you'd be more interested in a Scotch egg, freshly made, just one penny each. Oh yeah, we've got no, no money. Thank you. <clears throat> All right, this guy gave us a mouldy apple. Can we talk to him about that? Good day. How did you like your apple? I'm afraid it is rather rotten, sir. Hey, up! That slander, that is. I mean, don't you be going around telling folk I'm handing out rotten apples? You are though. Look, I'll show you it. I don't wish to give that away. Okay. Oh, it's Jane. Hello, Jane. Miss, watch me juggle. Go on then. Nice. <laughs> that was pretty cool. Very impressive. I can juggle even more apples. Ah, oh, can you? Do you want to juggle this? Oh no, we shouldn't do this, right? <laughs> this feels pretty evil. I dare you to juggle an extra apple. Easy. Go on then. Oh, we can give her the mouldy apple. And she can do it. There we go. Told you I could do it. Fair. Here's your apple back. Okay. I'm very impressed. Well, okay, we got the apple back. The apple looks somewhat rotten. It's riddled with holes. Okay, interesting. Um, is this like some sort of this like? This looks like elderflower to me. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. So there, there the is. This is full of various sprouts and onions. Nothing particularly tempting. But obviously we've got no money, so we can't really do anything. Good day. Fresh produce. Uh, elderflower. Is that elderflower you're selling? Aye, perfect for teas and tinctures. Any good for sore joints? Aye, penny a bunch. I'm afraid I don't have any money. Sorry, miss. Does it look like I'm running a charity? All right, trade. Can we work something out? A trade, perhaps? I deal in cash only, miss. No coin, no elderflower. What do you take me for? Goodbye. ta -ra, miss. So she's got elderflower, but we need money. So how are we going to get money? Can we maybe ask our friend in here? What's going on? Joe, perhaps you've had enough sugar? Don't you start an all. Ah, huh. sugar. Hands off me, sugar! Oh, sorry. I think this is supposed to be for all the patrons, sir. I said, hands off! Come on, Joe. Be nice to our visitors. Yeah. Ha! This place has gone to buggery! <laughs> oh, we actually got a sugar cube, and I'm guessing that's going to be useful for the horse, right? Because we all know that horses like sugar cubes. Uh, can I only Goodbye. ask him about milk? See you soon. Can we ask Hello anyone again, Mr. Shoulder. Miss Bearman. about coins? Mr. Bryden has given me permission to excavate Hobbs Barrow. Marvellous. I'm sorry you've had to sort all this out in my absence. When do we start? Tomorrow, I hope. Oh, is he coming but as well? First, I need to recruit some locals to assist with the dig. It's too much work for me to do on my own. I see. Beauty has its fair share of strapping young lads. You'll find assistance, Miss Bateman. Thank you for your time. Aye, Miss Bateman. I'm looking forward to tomorrow. Well, I guess he's coming with us. Um, is this guy able to give us coins? I have nothing coins? else to ask for the time being. No, should we go we back into the... the filthy lavatories? No, we don't want to go back into the creepy bathroom. All right, so I guess we could start to turn our attention back to the horse see if the horse wants a sugar cube here you go eat this good girl okay hopefully that's gained some trust between us right okay so can we now get some of the some of the hair I'm slightly unnerved that it says with horse. I've managed to cut off a few lengthy strands. Rather than with hair, but okay. So yeah, that is the creepy cat. 
So we've got horse hair now. So we've got the fiddle bow and the horse hair. I must coat the hair with something waxy first, otherwise the string will have no friction. Oh yeah, so we um we had this stuff, didn't we? The resin. What's going on? Okay. There we are. This should make sufficient bowstring now. Fine. So we've got bowstring. And now we're gonna make the the bow. I've done it. The bowstring seems to hold on sufficiently. Nice. Okay, so alright, well let's forget about the elderflower for a minute. Maybe we can get uh make some progress on this thing. This is where the, the girl was, right? Yeah, okay. Good news, we fixed your bow. Look what I have for you. And she's gone. Wow. She's uh pretty good. Uh oh, things are turning purple again. And now going dark. Okay. I mean, that was pretty cool. Oh, we passed out. My head is spinning. What happened? So the girl's Hello? gone. Where did she go? She went, but the the bow and the fiddle are still the girl here. Left her fiddle behind. Can we? I'll take it with me in case I see her again. All I right. need to understand what just happened. Yeah, that was very odd, wasn't it? So we've got the bow and the fiddle now. A strange incident at the Devil's Toe. The abandoned fiddle. Okay. Well, I mean, I I don't know how that's going to help us, but. Fine. Uh, we've got to try and figure out how we're going to get some coins. <clears throat> I think that's going to be be the key, right, for the older uh, elder flower. Not sure how we're going to do that. Uh, that was the way up to Bryden's farm, right? I'm also wondering if we've got like another puzzle to solve with. Um, Jane and the juggling, because that definitely seemed like a thing. Um, not sure what the puzzle would really be though. Maybe we can just like get more apples. Um, let's see, is there anything? So this was I've no use for the cow bane. Yeah, that's the cow bane. Um, okay, I mean maybe we can just. Maybe we can just go back to the, um, where is it? There, square. Not looking properly. Maybe we can, like, literally just sneak around to behind here and swap the cow bean with the, with the older flower. Hmm. Oi! Keep your grubby hands off me produce. Sorry. All right, we can't. So, well, it seems like we, we maybe can, but... You know, we can't just do it like that while she's watching, so perhaps we do have to do something here with Jane. Hello, Jane. Miss, watch me juggle. Because this definitely feels like a puzzle. Very good. Very impressive. I can juggle even more apples. Yes, yeah, so she keeps suggesting more apples. I dare you to juggle an extra apple. Easy. Okay, so she can. Told you I could do it. Here's your apple back. So she can do that. I'm very impressed. But she gives. Be careful with those things. Yes, miss. Oh yeah, I'm thinking it definitely is something to do with this. Maybe we just have to keep. I dare you to juggle an extra apple. Easy. So maybe we just have to keep trying this. Maybe it's going to annoy her or something. 
told you I could do it. Here's your apple back. I'm very impressed. No, she didn't say anything that time. All right. The apple looks somewhat rotten. It's riddled with holes. So it's got holes in it. So can we... Can we put anything... Can we, like, cut Can't it... see how that will help me. Can we, like, cut it open or anything? With the knife? We've still got the knife. Hmm. No, that won't work. Okay, no. Uh, I mean, is there anything we can can put into the apple. That might be an option. I'm trying to think. Uh, we spoke to Mrs. There's the Plunsy, didn't we? There's nothing else I wish to discuss at the moment. That's not mine to interfere with. No, okay. Hmm. What else have we got? Can we go up? We can go up this way, can't we? This is here. I mean, there were some worms in this hole before, I think. Didn't we get a worm from here? I shall name you Kenneth the Second. We did. Can we? Right, so we can't... I've already taken one. So we can't put the apple in there. Can we put the worm on the apple? The worm has found a new home within yeah. the holes of the Kay. rotten apple. There we go. So it's now got a worm. The worm in it. is happy in his new home. Okay. So will that make a difference if we give that back to Jane? Let's see. Or maybe we give it to him and be like, "Oh, you I gave." I wish to give that away. No. Okay. Fine. I dare you to juggle an extra apple. I wondered if Easy. showing him the apple with the worm would get him to give us like a refund or something. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, I see. There we go. So I bet we swap this while she's um. Let's see how that will help me. While she's distracted. Did she see us do that? I managed to swap them without her noticing. Okay. <laughs> feel a bit bad for doing that. I really that. don't want a mutton pie or a scotch egg. Okay, well, let's head back to the cottage then. So we've got Elderflower now. We've still got two more locations to unlock. Right, um, we've got Elderflower. Good day. I have the ingredients you asked for. Wonderful. Hand them over. There you go. Thank you. Tell Mr. Bryden to apply this poultice to the area in question. All right, it we can works do that. Wonders. Thank you very much. We can definitely do that. Uh, so, we've got the poultice. Now, let's head back to Mr. Bryden's farm. And we can give him that. And then hopefully he'll be able to get the milk for us. Yes? I've got a poultice for your joints, Mr. Bryden. It was prepared by Mildred Walker. Yeah. Who? You may know her as Mother Mildred. Oh, thank you, lass. You are welcome. Mildred knows what she's doing. I should have thought to see it myself. She said to apply it directly to where the pain is. It should work very swiftly. I'll give it a try. Is it going to work very swiftly? Oh, that did the trick, lass. Hey. I feel like a lad of 20 again. I suppose you'll be wanting me to milk old Eunice for your in return. Yeah, yes, please. If you don't mind. I'd appreciate it. A fair exchange. All right, well. Stand well back, lass. Oh, God, Believe are we... me, I'm not coming an inch closer. Are we going to see another vision? Please, no more visions. Oh, yep, yeah, we're good. There you are, lass. Some fresh milk. Nice. Thank you very much, Mr. Bryden. Okay. Eunice the provider, a bucket of fresh goat's milk. Nice. So we can take this back to the square. Hand it over to the... Uh, oh, the apple's still there. I'll let the worm enjoy his new home. Oh, we can't get it anymore. Okay. That's a shame. We'll just leave it there. Oh, Jane's gone fresh now as well. Scotch eggs. 
Right. I've got a pail of fresh milk here for you, Miss Tompkins. You haven't. We have. Here. Mum, you've saved my hide. Thank you. Are you all right? I'm worried about Mr. Ambrose. Are you Any road. I'm heading back to Panswick Manor now. Who's would Mr. you still like to meet his lordship? Yeah. Very much so. We would. Now, I can't guarantee you'll be home, all right? He's a very busy man. I'll take my chances. Follow me, then. Who's Mr. Ambrose? Have we Come met him? Over. It's not much further. Okay. Hey. <laughs> nice little jump. Oh, here we go. Check out this place. So it is a church. Or well, it looks like a church anyway. What time do you call this? Sorry, ma'am. Give it here then. <laughs> it's a bit rude. What are you doing? What the hell is this muck? Milk. Goat's milk, ma'am. You daft bit. Since when does his lordship take goat's milk with his tea? Oh, he will not be pleased. Get back to your sweeper before I clip you over the head. Sorry, ma'am. I mean, that's literally the only milk we could have got, right? We haven't done something wrong here. I don't know. But we will, uh, well... We will see about talking to both Miss Fenchurch and Miss Tompkins in the next one because we're out of time. So as always, thank you very much for watching. A big thank you to my patrons, Arcades Games, Wayne Nate, Terminally Nerdy, Paul from the Phantom Fellows, Lyle, Barry Aldridge, Hobo, Numinous, Coomadin, and Paul Leone. And I'll see you next time.